Hi there, so I'm Barry from cncmodeler.co.uk and today we're going to look at one of these um, mini 3-axis uh, gimbals for GoPro size cameras. This is actually a SJ Cam SJ4000 which is pretty good considering the cost. Uh, so um, the main thing for this video is uh, I've had some problems with it and I've decided that um, I'm going to install some slip rings to give me 360 degree movement on all of the axes. Uh, so, uh, getting on to that, I'll just give you a bit of a reason why I've decided to do that. Um, so, this is uh, in your average three axis, fairly cheap gimbal, very special. Uh, these are going for about £60 on uh, 60 UK pounds on eBay.co.uk at the moment. Um, and I think it's reasonably good to be honest. So if we uh, take the camera off, and then we'll remove the strap just to make it easier to for you guys to see what's going on. Okay, so. Uh, what we've got here is a three-axis gimbal. Um, so it's got three-phase stepper motors on it with the Storm 32 controller, and um, uh, it's reasonably good gimbal to be honest, from what I can see. A limited use that I've had. Um, as you can see, I've been um, installing additional wires for video feed, uh, but uh, we'll come to the issues that I've discovered. So uh, about halfway through starting to look at uh, putting the video feed in, I actually um, started to get some problems where this platform would sit there and when you try to initialise it, it wouldn't initialise properly and it would slowly go up a step and then it would slowly go up another step and it would keep on going round and, um, and I didn't know what was going on. So um, I got a bit frustrated with it and started to think about, well, shall I buy another one? And then I was just looking at, you know, if I was going to buy another one, how would I fit all the wires and was it worth it? And I noticed that uh, I'd got a broken wire. And if we look in here, hopefully you can see just above my finger there is a small bit of heat shrink. And that's where the wire had broken. So one of the phases wasn't energised and that's why the motor was behaving strangely. Also, there's a couple other wires here that were chafed. The reason that is is that uh, you can see there's a little bit of sleeving in there, um, in there, and uh, that's protecting the wires because the, this section moves separately to the tube that where the wires uh, come through. The same one here, and if you can see, if you can get the light in there, there isn't any uh, heat shrink tubing in there. So I think that's what the issue was really, but then. That was uh, happening pre-installing these wires and um, basically my conclusion was well if it's doing that without these extra wires in then it's going to get only going to get worse. So what do I do? Well I decided uh, that we'd have a look and see if I could find some slip rings. I had a look on, uh, on the internet and some of the more expensive cameras do have slip rings. Camera gimbal sorry. And um, I came across these. Back out of the way from me. So these are um, electrical slip rings. There's a 12 slip version and a, a 6 ring version. Um, and so to get all the wiring through, um, you basically need nine, uh, sorry, six wires for the um, these two stepper motors, and you need I think it's four wires for that gyro platform. So you need 10 wires. And the two spare wires I'm going to use for a ground and a, a video feed. And then I'm going to put, pull the power up um, from here. Uh, so, so there you go. Um, so what we're going to do, well what we need to do is mount these. So 
so that they sit on the outside because I can't put them on the inside because it will get in the way of the camera. And then uh, mount one there, mount a 12 way there and a 12 way up there. Uh, now the issues I have is that um, the way this motor is set up, this uh, small piece moves and the centre there doesn't. So the centre here moves and the outer bushing doesn't as you can, as you can see just there. Um, so that's not going to be good because the way things are set up at the moment I would have to mount the slip rings on the inside which would get in the way of the camera and also get in the way of clearance of the camera for the one back. So I'm going to turn these uh, motors around in their, in their housings which is just, uh, you see that little screw there that um, holds, pinches this bracket around the motor. So I'm going to turn the motors around which will reduce the number of wires that need to come through the hole because the, the stepper motor wires come through to this side and um, attach the bracket onto this shoulder here and then what I'll have to do is because the pitch on the holes on this side is different to the pitch on the holes on that side I'm going to make some adapters probably out of a large washer with some holes drilled in it. So do that here and here and then also because of the depth of the um, slip rings, as you can see, they won't actually clear the uh, stepper motor at the top. So the plan is to uh, put an extension piece on that part of the bracket there, just to pack it out another 10 mil, and just put some long bolts in there to um, to do that. As you can see, just uh, just there. Okay. Um, so. Uh, oh, the other thing I need to do is um, I'll need to figure out a way to mount this stepper uh, further away from uh, the bore, the bracket here, so that I can get a 12 um, lead slip ring in between there and, this, and um, the controller board. So there you go. Um, that's the plan. So this is the end of part one of this short series and now i've done the upgrade and um, look forward to hopefully seeing you next time all the best this is barry marshall from cncmodeler.co.uk signing off